me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Good morning, ladies. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Doesn't look like anything. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. You found her lipstick. What did you write on her body? What are you talking about? I didn't write anything. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. You just came across the body? Yes, that's exactly what happened. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. 
a blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks, ma'am. that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, right about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. Lee. I got your place. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? KGP Alta, all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Get it to handle code two. Identify. <laughs> Out of the car, police. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way.
You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. She wasn't always such a loner. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. When Evelyn bought the booze, did she say who she was meeting or where she was going? A young drinking friend of hers, I think. Don't recall his name. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody.
Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. I don't like you, McCaffrey. You look like someone who's trying too hard, like your whole life is some kind of performance. I think you need to give us something to get us out of your life. I don't like you either, you pompous, stiff-necked patrician. You think I don't see through you and all the other minions of the ruling class? Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. But nothing reprehensible. No. The odd parking ticket. That kind of thing. Did you see Evelyn last night? No. I was at home. Writing. I think you're lying, McCaffrey. You saw Evelyn last night. Unless you're some kind of oracle, I think you're going to have a hard time proving that, detective. I've been helpful. I think it's time you and your colleague ran along. McCaffrey, we're not finished with you. You had your chance to cooperate. Badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Thank you.
try not killing the people that pay our salaries? Watch where you're driving, you maniac! Come on! I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the paper. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. That bum took a swipe at me. Put him down on my staff. I want to make a comment. You know what you Heavens! You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. I don't need this. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, though. You're married, and yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roped. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Guy gave his wife a pack. I said all. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks for your help. thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one. Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out.
point. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shame. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the office? Though? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Doesn't give me anything to go on. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Nothing significant. I don't think this is going to help us.
Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Good fight. There he is, officer. Hurry, you can still catch him. Give it up, LAPD. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Just go easy, Phelps. 